So now, let's see how you can add in contacts using your Zoom client so that you can start chatting or calling uh, other contact members anytime you want. So over here, you can see that I'm on the contact tab and I have no contacts here right now. So it says view your contact info by clicking on a contact in the left, but there's no contact right over here. So in order to add a contact, I need to click over here just like this. It so says add a contact or create a contact group. So once you click on this, it says you can add a contact. So let me just click on add a contact right over here and it tells you to enter the email address of the contact. So I'm just going to type in tutitube2 at outlook.com which is the email to my second account right over here. So I'm just going to add that in. So once you add the contact, uh, an invitation is sent to the other person right over here and so they'll be able to uh, access it out they'll get a contact request on their zoom client right over there so they'll have to accept that out and once they accept it out you'll see them on your contact list right here so i just accepted it out from my other contact so let's see how that actually looks like in the contact right over here so i'm going to press ok right over there so once you wait for a bit you'll be able to see this right over here. So there's external right over here. So there's tutitube contact right over here. And once you uh, go into the contact, you can see that the account is available right over here. So you have an option to chat the person. So you can go over here onto the chat option. So we're going to see more about how to work around with chat in the further lesson. So once you can click on say hi, say hi right there. So just like any other uh, application, you'll be able to chat. Uh, with each other so the other person can also say hi and send it back to you just like this. So we're going to talk about more about this in the further lesson. Uh, besides that, the contact will be able to uh, call you anytime. So you just go to the contact and if you want to call, you do not need to set up a new meeting ID or anything. You just go to the contact and click on meet right over here. So once you click on it, a call will be placed right over there. So just like any other application, a call will be sent uh, so they will have to accept it out. So once they accept it out, you can join with computer audio and then start talking normally right over there. So I'm just going to join with video right over here from my mobile phone right over here. So you, you can just go over there and then start talking usually just like this. So you can see that there's the second account right over there. And just like that, I'm able to access without even setting up any meeting ID. You still have a meeting ID though, so you can share it with anyone and then start talking normally. So I'm just going to end the meeting for all right over here, just like this. So that's how it actually works out over here. So now uh, this is how it seems as if you were to call them, but if they were to message you or they were to call you, for example, so I'm going to send it uh, from my second account. You can see that there's this uh, chat box right over here. Once you click on it, you are able to access the chat box right over there. And they're able to call you as well. So if they were to call you, it'll sound like this. So I'm calling from my other account right over there. And now you'll be able to see something like this over here. So it says uh, the second account is calling me. So I have an option to decline or join it out. So I'm just going to say join and then the incoming call will be accepted as you can see right over here. So now they'll be able uh, to talk with you just like that. So that's how uh, you can set up your Zoom account contact so that you can contact them um, um, as, a, as a, okay, so that's an echo. So I'm just going to mute this out. So that's how uh, people can contact you and then uh, start chatting usually just like that. So there you go. And that's how they can call you and you can start chatting with them. So that is how you can set up contacts and utilize contact options inside of the Zoom client. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.